can be taken or can be prepared from this text, Oedipus Rex. And so I'm just asking that to ask anyone else that who is there that who wanted to take the class and is not here anymore. So ask all, all students to join the session. Okay, till then, I think that I must inform you people about the questions. Like, I have, I think that you have already been intimated about the pattern or about uh, that there will be 20 MCQs, and for that purpose, you have to do or attempt those 20 MCQs in 20 minutes, okay? So, one minute for M one MCQs. There is no need to tell you about the process that you are already informed with. So we will do the same, like I will be sharing a link with you in the Google Classroom, but yes, Nafe and uh, on Nimra, you have to ask everyone in your class, including your seniors, that if they have joined the Google Classroom or not, because I will not be taking anyone's paper after, um, after the allocated day or after the allocated time. So you must inform all, all of them to join the Google Classroom. Okay, and Nafi and Nimra, is it? Thank you. Okay, I think that we uh, have waited already for the other students for five minutes. Yes, they will be coming in. So yes, uh, at the same day, uh, you can ask your questions because I think that uh, for me, I have already made anything clear for you people. And if you need to ask anything about the text or about anything else that you just need to know, then you can ask it now. So you, you gave uh, 25 minutes in the last uh, midterm exams. So will you extend, extend the time for from 20 to 25 minutes, please? Because we need to fulfill the other requirements as well, such as our role number, name, and all that. I was very good in that semester because I was ill and there was something, you can say, a kind of a tinge of a courtesy and humbleness in my body just because of the sickness. But I think that I am no more humble to you. So, Sorry, other teachers has, uh, have given uh, three to four, eight to five minutes extra for to us as well. So please, they are, uh, they. They are they. I am what I am. Okay. So, so, I think, you, so what we'll be doing when we have to complete the requirements and the MCQs at the same time, we will be given only 20 minutes. Please extend this time to 25 minutes, sir. Because, because there will be many MCQs that that will be very easy for you people to attempt so you can save your time not to get confused with the one only for example if you know the answer of one mcqs uh, you if you know the right answer or right option so in f first five seconds you can attempt that and you can save your 55 seconds for others okay so it means that if there will be five or ten mcqs that you already know it means that you will have enough time to attempt the all other. So I think that, okay, after saving 30 seconds,
from each MCQs, you will have, I think, more than five minutes. Is that fine with you? Yes, you can take two extra minutes, uh, but you can say for a situation, but something uh, like bad happens with your internet or uh, so pertaining to that situation that you will be given one or two minutes extra. Otherwise, I don't think so that this is a good idea to take extra time because what you will be doing and what you have been already doing in online exams, I exactly know. So I think that you must ready for yourselves for the allocated time. Uh, so this is not the, I think that uh, you will be given five minutes or 10 minutes extra for doing that. Yes, one or two minutes extra. Yes, we only need two to three minutes extra, no more, because we need to fulfill the given task. Roger, ma'am, Sri Hashma. Roger. Okay, so any other question? Yes, okay, Nafe and uh, all of the other students, including GR, CR. So I think that the purpose of uh, arranging this class is to ask questions. So, not Arsalan, look, you have to ask questions directly from me. So, so that I think that I must go with your problem, not what I know about this text. So, because so you have to ask questions, so this will be, you can say, convenient for me to answer only those questions that you want to know. Otherwise, I will be discussing many things that you like feel that, okay, these are not of our interest. Yes. Or should I go with my own temper? Like whatever I want to like to tell you people about the text and what are the other things that are necessary. So should I go like this or will you ask questions at your disposal? Yes, I want to ask from you. Is it from uh, we will uh, prepare our exams either from uh, uh, the textbook or from Google uh, or some bot? I didn't understand a single word from you or Salam. Sir, I'm getting a question. Uh, sir, I'm asking from you, where from visually prepare our exams? Are they from text? Uh, I have to... either from text. Yes, from the textbook. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you can mute your mic because there's so disturbance. Okay, yes, I understand. I got your question. I, I... I have already told you to prepare the text because the purpose of uh, uh, reading the text is only that you must be aware with every line of the text. So you must include the text or the lines of the text or the quotations in your preparation. So it will not be, you can say, a kind of general question as, uh, answering. Rather, it will be about the text or do not forget about to include the Greek mythology Okay, that we have already done in our classes, in our previous classes. Okay, so this is how you're going to do it. Okay, so you, uh, you people are not speaking anything, all of the others. What is the purpose of arranging this class anyhow? So tell me something that should I go with my own? Or will you ask any question related to the text? Okay, ask the question again. What the yeah? Hello. Yes, you are audible now. Yes. 
uh, both the decisions can be taken simultaneously because we already know that whatever uh, the independent actions independent are actions are also controlled by the fate definitely we know that man is a puppet in the hands of the god so we can say that independent actions whether they were independent actions yes but they were under the control or under the grip of the fate so it was you can say uh, if we talk about the percentages so we can say it was 75% role of the fate and 25% independent actions of a man of edipus rex so yes there were, there is 75% possibility of the fate and on the other side 25% of his uh, you can say uh, of his independent actions and we also know that like in at a different situation a different situation when edipus rex was actually considering himself as the wise or prudent or you can say more than intelligent enough so at the same time we see that like he was whose mic homa please mute your mic okay so we can say that at different occasion uh, it was like edipus rex was also controlled he was designed he was you can say uh, he was planned he was plotted by the the vigory of the god because it was the god that were making himself to do that particular thing and after that we were saying that okay this was the independent action of edipus rex for example you see that uh, instead of uh, uh, going to the thieves he can go to any other country okay so like this was his independent action but on the other side we can also say that okay this was the planning of the god too similarly we see that after when there was a sphinx waiting for someone and why it was the only man why it was only edipus rex who actually arrived at the gates of uh, a thief and why he was the only one who could solve the riddle you see that it was also the planning of uh, planning of or the plotting of the god that there will be only one man there will no one else who will come there and who will solve the riddle of the god okay so we have different examples yes what other characteristics we can associate with edipus rex character because we do not directly uh, find any of the other you can say uh, uh, setbacks or drawbacks in the character of edipus rex except like he is proud and arrogant he just goes into the uh, into the wrong direction by investigating the things by making the inquiry of the thing so this is you can say one of his uh, wrong side that we have already encountered with otherwise we do not see that whatever a man can do or whatever a king can do for his country he was already doing that but except some setbacks or some drawbacks we can say that yes he was actually uh, not talking with reasons not taking the situations seriously as to investigate them with proper knowledge or with proper understanding like as we say that the creon is found more appropriate or more rational when where the arguments were were concerned he was more rational he was more you can say reasonable uh, instead of edipus rex because edipus rex he was you can say a kind of uh, set on emotions uh a set of with the emotional things but creon was speaking with facts he was speaking with you can say reason so yes we can say that in some cases he was lacking of the of this confidence of uh, to be you can say uh, re reasonable or rational in different arguments so that is why we can say that these are the things that are associated with him as his independent action like he was proud and whatever he was doing he was doing not with the counseling of everything but he was doing uh, with his own will like he could have included in that case in that counseling to creon he could have you can say uh, included in that counsel uh, jocasta and many of the other people but he sometimes wants to be uh, the one 
who is who is actually running the affairs who is running the country okay so it is not the responsibility of all the time of a king to do such things to perform the actions lonely or to perform the action uh, you can say uh, individually so this was you can say some of the wrong actions independent wrong actions that were actually making the gods uh, more angry because on the other side we also see that who ever were involved in this situation like jukasta she was not believing on the gods in the same sense and edipus rex he was not believing in the gods in the same sense so that is why we see that somehow whatever independent actions he performed they were basically you can say filling all the dots of the fate or the uh, you can say they were filling the dots of the planning of the god so that is you can say a kind of free will action and independent action but you see that 70% 70% control is of the fate on edipus rex or or edipus rex independent action okay so this is how in a simple way you can talk about the independent action otherwise if you see that uh, there is nothing wrong with the action but you see that sometimes he must have consulted with with many of his ministers to uh, what to do with this and how to you can say bring justice on the surface okay is that fine you are welcome yes anyone else sir tell us something about the statement uh, yes, of the mcqs uh the statements of the mcqs like they they can be any uh any text line okay and there will be four options and you have to select one okay it can be any line from the text it can be any quotation or can it be any dialogue of any character or i will be giving you any kind of situation okay so this is how the questions will be so anything that that is related to the text or it can be from the previous lectures that i have delivered early in the lect in the classroom related to the greek uh, mythology so i will be asking about any god or the role of any god or uh, the other thing okay so you just need to know about i i can also ask questions about the chorus or uh, i can also talk about ask about the trophy or anthes trophy so these are the different clues that you you just need to prepare so it means that you have to prepare everything from the text that i have given and i don't think so there is uh, anything that i couldn't make clear so if you feel so that this is your day your time you can ask about that confusion right now is that clear yes sir thank you anyone else uh, so what i have observed that it is more of the punishment of choosing free will than the role of fate jo kesta mm -hmm. and king leus they choose free will to destroy their child by you know denying the prophecy of the god and all this happening is just because of choosing that free will because free will always leads to sins and destruction hmm yes this can be in other case but we cannot say that okay this is only because of that punishment or because of that role you see that uh, they i i don't think that any of us or any of the world in, in this world anyone can do that any parents can uh, do that that they will allow their child to do the same as it happened in that case because yes if if there will there would have any extra option so that they could have you can say achieve that in the same case for example if the child was born in the house so they felt that okay this is the appropriate option to get rid of the child because that child will uh, never grow up and he will not do the same as it is advised or pronounced by the court okay so this is the one option that they have for example the other option because sometimes you see that when you are uh, when you are stuffed with so many ten uh, tensions and anxieties you do not know what to do that so might be if that child would have remained in that house like till his young age might be the possibility possibilities of doing that thing could have diminished okay on the other side uh, the, the mother and father they could have asked the gods 
ओके इफ दिस इज द सो इफ दिस इज दैट वी आर पनिश्ड लाइक दिस तो इज देर एनी अदर रेमेडी दैट वेन वी कैन डू टू मेक यू बी मेक यू हैप्पी लाइक द गॉड्स ओके सो दैट these are different things that could have done at the same time but what will be the outcome of these things these are simple the story of action will never run the story of action it will never run so like you see that they have to create a situation in which the story of action like this is the thing that i think that controls the plot or every dialogue of the story or of the play the story of action so अगर कोई पॉसिबिलिटी नहीं है कुछ जो है वो उसके पास ऑप्शन नहीं है राइटर का के मजीद उससे बात करेगा देन द स्टोरी विल एंड डेफिनेटली सो इट मीन्स दैट यस ही दे नीड टू क्रिएट ए पॉसिबिलिटी और जो पॉसिबिलिटी जो है वो उनको यही लगी कि दैट द चाइल्ड विल सरवाइव लाइक दे थॉट दैट इट इज डेड ऑलरेडी बट दैट चाइल्ड वुड सरवाइव एंड दैट चाइल्ड कॉज द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हिज फादर एंड ऑफ हिज मदर एंड ऑफ हिमसेल्फ एज वेल सो यस so the least possibility that one can think is to keep that child at home and after that he will be he will be you can say growing up and after some time we can see that they might ask for like for, for the forgiveness of the of their punishment or of any anything else that we can do okay yes this can be in a in a suggestive way otherwise i don't think that there is any other action that they must be doing or performing to avoid in that fate of god yes anything do you need anything to say about this no sir it's clear sir i have another question yeah go on so what i have observed that greek literature is all about king queen power and prestige isn't there any role of common man in it uh basically when you talk about the tragedy so tragedy is a concept so tragedy is Uh, the noblest form of drama or the highest form of drama in which only uh, the royal characters and uh, the other elite characters are discussed and taken okay so we cannot say that okay tragedy is all about the poor people or the common people yes there was a time because at that time it was the mentality of the people uh, and on the other side we see the second option that we can take from this many of the greek philosophers and on the other side the writers they would have been thinking that literature is not the commodity literature is not of the interest of the common people similarly as of the age of elizabeth in the elizabethan age you see that shakespearean shakespearean writings were all about royals about elites about kings and queens about heroes of the past and etc similarly it was a thinking of the greek people that literature is the uh, like uh, it is all about the uh, you can say the highest uh, it is all about the people who belong to the high status who belong to the elite class or the royal blood so this is not you can say for the common people or for the average people so that is why we see that this is a kind of another uh, kind of you can say proud thing that they were doing in that ancient time otherwise i think that there was all the time a quarrel between the philosophy on the other hand between poetry uh, in the greek philosophers of the in the greek time so we cannot touch that uh, you can say topic because that is not related to us but if uh, if you think that okay we have to defend this then we can talk about that we have to defend this okay why royalty is actually bragging bragging off to include such topics and include only the royal classes or elite classes in literature why the poor people are not actually the subject of this because uh, as you uh, read the topic of or the tragedy the definition of tragedy of aristotle so he has clearly mentioned that tragedy is not about a poor man or it is not about a common man why because that poor man is already stuffed with poverty is or, or he's already like a beggar so if that person is cursed or ashamed with the plot of the story with the plot of the tragedy so like there will be no you can say difference on that person okay so there will no thing uh, nothing that will happen with that person because that person is already uh, living his life in in a kind of uh, uh, 
you can say low rank or in kind of uh, not in in the kind of that dignity as a king is actually entertaining or assuming his status so that is why it was said that it is a tragedy only that is for the elite people for uh, not for the common people or for the dikhne ke agar koi fakir hai bechara ya koi bahut hi koi poor class se belong karta hai uske liye tragedy isliye bhi baat kar nahi hai kyunki wo to khud bechara pehle hi aisi zindagi guzar raha hai jo to khud full of tragedy hai sari umar jo hai wo bechara us tarike se kama raha hai us tarike se gar usko in cheezon se lekin unke mutabik wo ye kehte ki jo ek ek status se baitha hai banda agar wo wahan se girta hai या उसको जो है वो फील होता है कि अच्छा भाई मैं अब इस इससे जो है वो डी थ्रोन हो जाऊंगा या डी सीट हो जाऊंगा अपने स्टेटस से पोजीशन से किसी ऐसे एक्ट की वजह से जो मुझे नहीं पता जो उसकी एरर ऑफ जजमेंट है या हिमाश है तो फिर वो ट्रेजेडी बनेगी अब एक गरीब बंदा वो तो सारी लाइफ उसकी पहले से ट्रेजेडी है तो आप उसकी क्या करेंगे उसकी ज्यादा ज्यादा कौन से ऐसे एस्पेक्ट को दिखा सकते हैं यू कैन शो द पॉवर्टी वो तो पहले बेचारा एक पुअर मैन के तौर पर है उससे ज्यादा उसकी पॉवर्टी क्या शो की जा सकती है मतलब उससे ज्यादा सिंपल अल्फाज में हम उनको किस तरीके से दलील कर सकते हैं तो लाइक अ काइंड ऑफ यू कैन नॉट नॉट से वो बेचारा पहले ही एक तरीके से सफरिंग फ्रॉम पॉवर्टी एंड लाइक दैट यू कैन से पोअर लाइफ तो उस लिए जो है वो ये एलिमेंट जरूरी था उस वक्त कि ट्रेजिडी जो है खास तौर से ये बनी बननी चाहिए सिर्फ अली क्लासेस के लिए रॉयल के लिए और जो कॉमेडी है अब आपका दूसरा जो साइड है क्वेश्चन वो ये कॉमेडी जो है ये आप एलिजिबेशन एज में भी देख लें ये कॉमन लोगों के लिए है और उस वक्त भी क्योंकि कॉमेडी का कॉन्सेप्ट उस वक्त इतना ज्यादा नहीं था तो इसलिए ये क्लास जो कॉमेडी है ये है पूर्व क्लासेस के लिए एलिजिबेशन एज में ज्यादातर कॉमेडी का इंट्रोडक्शन करवाया गया तो उस दौर में यह था कि जो अमीर लोग हैं या अलीट क्लासेस हैं या रॉयल क्लासेस हैं इनको एंटरटेन करने के लिए जो पुअर कैरेक्टर्स हैं या लोअर कैरेक्टर्स हैं इनको उनके सामने पेश किया जाता था ताकि वो अपने आप को एंटरटेन कर सकें तो इसलिए हाँ अगर हम इसकी पॉसिबिलिटी देखें फ्यूचर में तो उसमें ये था कि जो अमेरिकन ड्रामा है उसमें जरूर जो है इस कॉमन मैन के सब्जेक्ट को यानी कि मॉडर्न मैन की ट्रेजिडी को लिया गया है जिसमें उन्होंने कहा था कि ये जरूरी नहीं है कि सिर्फ एक रॉयल कैरेक्टर हो या एक अलीट कैरेक्टर हो तो उसी की ट्रेजिडी हो सकती है एक एवरेज मैन या कॉमन मैन की ट्रेजिडी भी हो सकती है ओके तो उसमें जो है वो ऑर्थर मिलर शामिल है उसमें जो है आ, क्या उसे कहते हैं यूजीन ओनील शामिल है ऑर्थर मिलर का जो प्ले है द डेथ ऑफ अ सेल्स मैन वो शामिल है वो एक परफेक्ट मॉडर्न ट्रेजिडी है जो किसी अमीर घराने से ताल्लुक नहीं रखता बल्कि एक बिल्कुल एवरेज या मिडिल क्लास से ताल्लुक रखता है तो उसके बारे में कैसे तो इस वक्त उस वक्त जो ट्रेंड था बेसिकली ना कि सिर्फ अलीट क्लास और रॉयल क्लासेस के लिए है क्योंकि हाईएस्ट फॉर्म भी है ये ड्रामा की और उन तमाम के तमाम कैरेक्टर्स को भी जो है इसमें इंक्लूड किया जाता है जो कि जिनको एक डर होता है या एक फियर ऑफ फॉलिंग है अपनी ग्रेस से या अपना फॉल ऑफ द ग्रेस से कि उनको जो है उस तरीके से ट्रीट किया जाएगा आफ्टर फॉलिंग फ्रॉम दैट स्टेट ओके इज एट क्लियर अटल बिट Okay. Hello. So I have a question that uh, what was the role of uh, intellectuals of Athenian society about the like about the legitimacy of the oracles and traditional gods? Basically, all the not all the Athenians, but many of you can say the the intellectuals or the academicians of the Greeks, they would have a vision about the societies, about the life that they must be. justifying the ways of the gods towards the human being like uh, the purpose of making uh, this play as it was also like you can say won the first prize in the contest so what was the purpose it was just to make the legitimacy or make so to justify the ways of the gods in in, in the lives of the human being because the people at that time they were morally you can say corrupt that you see in every age and uh, people they were actually uh, going far from the the central beliefs of the religion so it was the need of the time a dire need of the time to include such topics so in which we see that there were many uh, philosophers involved including like socrates aristotle and all the other people 
whenever they have to talk about the concept of the god or concept of the other things to bring into the notice or bring into the light of the people so they did that you can say proficiently or effectively with a with an element of the truth as you can see like philosophers all of them they talked about the supernatural powers they talked about uh, you can say uh, the the symbols or you can say the symbols of the universe or the planets of the planets and all of the other things in such a detail that you can find that there is a power behind all of them okay so this was the case of the philosophers on the other hand poets and writers they also did not leave a single space in which they have not you can say uh, included or taken up the topic of the god and of their powers and all of the other things because at that time you see that their belief system on the god they it was the dire need to make them strong enough on the belief system of the of the of the gods or of the religion so we see that that yes all of the uh you can say philosophers all of the academians all of the critics including uh, the writers the poets they all have done the same so yes it was the need of the time uh, in the ancient time so this is what it is so you need to want to uh, uh, talk about more about this topic sir i think i i am just asking that to Um, and came to know that what was Aristotle and Sophocles and um, Aristotle and Socrates they they believed on Greek mythology like the common people believe. Yes, they have because what you can see in Sophocles' play, it is you can say uh, perfectly uh, infused in in that case that yes they were the believers of the Greek mythology. They were believers because. if like they are not believing on the power of the god so it means that you can see that apollo and zeus and all of the other gods their powers are uh, their their uh, powers are strongly gripping the characters including oedipus rex whatever the fate of oedipus rex is that you can see is this is like you can see that this is you can say that how uh, the the grip of the god on the human being is done by sophocles so it means that he is uh, at the side of the gods or he is in the favor of the greek mythology or in the favor of the gods okay so he is the one on the other side we feel talk about the concepts of other philosophers so like aristotle plato and socrates yes they were also the believers of the god if they have talked about the planets the stars suns and all of the other things it means that they were in uh, uh they were in 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 that case the believers of everything or of the gods too and uh, one of the fundamental concepts of the philosophy is to establish the truth in the society and what was the ultimate truth it was the, related to the god it was related to you can say uh, the presence of the gods and all of the other symbols the metaphorical symbols including the stars the planets uh, earth and the life on the earth so it means that yes they were also the believers uh, on the god of the god as well yes anything else hello rehan my name is yes sir uh, i think sir i'm asking that why uh, socrates was forced to drink that uh, poisonous drink um, because he disobeyed greek mythology or it is some other reason <laughs> rehan this is not a relevant question but uh, i can also uh, i can answer this question as well uh, because he was not he was actually asking that uh, he was of the view that okay how to lead the life uh, and how to live a life uh, not according with the taste or interests of the people but a man can live a life according to uh, his or her according to his own concept his own opinion you can say with the freedom uh, with the with the enough independence of freedom okay like 
what the other people think at that time like they felt that okay king uh, sorry uh, socrates aristotle sorry socrates is, is misleading the people misleading the young okay like he is actually misleading them because he is asking okay not to follow uh, the the diplomacy of the country not to follow uh, the the kings of the country not to follow the other things related to the country like the uh, the policies but rather he thinks that okay whatever you will do you can do with this with your independent will so this is what the allegations were put on uh, socrates and uh, then he was forced okay that whatever you have said you have to take your words back otherwise you will be punished so he said that no i have spent almost 30 years in this case to uh, uh, to my people or my students to be on the track and to think beyond the out of the box or beyond the things so i cannot take them back okay then that person will be, that uh, he was he was punished by uh, the two capital punishments exile or death so he took the second one that with him lot so this was in other question rather it is not relevant but i answered it but yes uh, is there any question uh, related to the text or other things sir yeah i'm not getting your voice sir, how can this drama possibly be considered realistic sorry i'm not getting your voice sir, i'm saying uh, how can this drama be possible how can this drama possibly be considered realistic okay uh the drama the concept of drama is not uh, if you are talking about this drama or drama in general sir this drama okay uh, uh for this purpose we have to talk about the con uh, we have to talk about the definition of literature or the concept of literature okay uh, and first of all let me include a quotation that I have already told you so many times that art is a lie that makes us realize the truth okay that you already know about so now we can see that if you talk about drama this drama has nothing to do with the reality okay so this is a kind of fictional story because it was a kind of praise to uh, dionysus in the older time but you see that how he has depicted every situation for example the concept of things uh if we cross our cultural or religious barriers we do not accept that we never accept that okay that there can be any kind of thing so there can be any kind of god in directly involved in this situation okay so then there are many other you can say concepts that we deny with according to our faith or uh, if we are you can say the people of uh, the modern world but we can say that how he has encapsulated or he has realistically drawn the picture of that society so and how the society must be you can say given something with the belief of this uh, concept so this is what i think that uh, most appropriate what this is what a person must think out of this instead of we must be realizing that whether this work is realistic or not but we can say the application of the work is more realistic than that of the story the story as you already know that this is not in the case of uh, greek mythology that does not give satisfaction to a common man that okay there can be the role of uh, different gods and they are doing such things in with their human beings and all of the other functions that they perform secondly if we talk about yes the drama so it is a kind of you can say uh, imagination imagination or the uh, the creativity of the mind of sophocles that he created every fictional character just to tell the people that this will happen if you talk about the other things okay so this is you can say a kind of not a realistic thing in that sense but uh, sometimes you have to uh, take some characters some actions or some other things just to make the people realize 
that okay to not do this otherwise this will happen with you okay so this is in that sense a kind of uh, uh, morality or a tragic action of the people or of the heroes that uh, they tell the people not to do so or to do so. okay so i think that this is how your question must be answered i think if you're satisfied you okay, can sir. otherwise if you need to ask and yes, more about yes you can no sir thank you yes welcome yes anyone else sir sir i have a question yeah go on sir how adipus pride and angel causes his downfall is there any role of it uh yes there is a role of fate but on the other side as i have already told you people earlier like this is because of his proud excessive proud his excessive arrogance his excessive you can say power or the authority or uh, the thing like that is making him all alone from the other people that he can do alone all the things that is under his power and the other statement that no one can harm me who sees the sun you see that all these statements and all these uh, characteristics are associated with his pride or with his character or with his personality so that is why we see that at the end of the story we feel a little remorse for that character a little remorse for edipus rex we are not feeling a kind of you can say Uh, more pain for that character rather than that we are uh, our eyes are full of tears but we still feel that okay like this is all his actions that brought to his fate okay so if it means that if you are just keep on distracting the god if you 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 just keep on uh, disbelieving the god like this what will happen this will definitely uh, ruin you this will just destroy you so this also happened in the case of Oedipus Rex because the behavior uh, of Oedipus Rex with Tiresias was not appropriate and his behavior like uh, you can you can also judge the behavior of his mother Jocasta when you see that oh, these are the prophets and the prophecies were so it means that they were not the the believers rather uh, they were you can say uh the rejecting and disbelieving on the concept not from the beginning but from uh, at the uh, till the end of the uh, of the play he will just keep on disbelieving on everything just because of his excessive pride that he can do he can do he can do but after that you see that he couldn't and this what what was happening or what was awaiting for him to happen okay so is this the case that it is because of his you can you can say his own in actions as well that was actually making the gods uh displeasant from from him or fr from the situation is that clear kaina yes sir thank you yes. okay if if you are uh, not satisfied uh for example if if i answer something as you feel that okay this must not be the answer and there is something more detail that you need then you can ask it okay so this is not you can say a kind of that oh, will i will only answer one question and uh, not more than one question and i will only give the info, uh, you can say the detail of that quest uh, of their answer in 30 seconds or in 10 seconds yes i can go more than that so you can ask if you are not satisfied you can ask again and again in this case so yes so can you please um, redefine the terms trophy and instrophy and the role of chorus in tragedy a bit of please uh basically the role of hello chorus role of chorus okay. sir okay okay uh basically uh as, okay let's talk about uh, role of chorus first okay the role of chorus as i have already told that uh, chorus is the group of people who let the audience know about the upcoming situation that what is going to happen next in the play okay so this is the role of the chorus first of all second is uh, the chorus they are all the time there to engage the people or engage the audience once if 
the main characters are not on the stage sometimes you see that main characters are not on the stage so the audience will see here and there and they will find okay who is, there is no someone whom to listen or whom to watch so at the same time when the characters the main characters are uh, you can say in the background so they can engage the audience okay and they can tell something more about that what is going to happen in in a very you can say hidden words the third role is of the audience and of koragos is sometimes they like most of the time they are praying the lords and the kings and the queens and simultaneously they are also praising their uh, their gods as well okay and they do not have this authority like the chorus to interact directly with the audience they they just need to sing the song whatever it is on the other side we see that kora goes is the one who is the leader of the chorus and who has the authority to suggest something to interact something with the characters with the audience and all of the other characters present on the stage okay so this is a short you can say a uh, role of chorus in which we find that uh, uh, the chorus and the group of the chorus are actually engaging the characters or sorry engaging the audience when the main characters are not present on the stage and yes the second uh, is strophe and antistrophe so we see that uh, strophe as i have already told that the the people they are actually sometimes raising some questions like uh, in the prayers and they are praising something and uh, in that strophe the situation is taken and uh, sometimes you see that with that strophe a group of people they are engaging the one row of the audience and they are uh, saying the same uh, and after that when they are moving towards on the other side of the stage so they are engaging the other type of audience because at that time you know that there were no uh, loud speakers or mics uh, so people have to engage the chorus have to engage the audience like this so the one situation that is taken up by the correct by the chorus on the one side of the stage it is called the strophe and on the other hand we see that uh, the counter narrative is sometimes in in response to the strophe in response to the first strophe they are actually moving back to the other uh, side of the stage okay so it means that there are two sections the first first section is called the strophe the other section is called the antistrophe so this is what we can say uh, understand about the strophe and the antistrophe thank you sir you welcome yes anyone else so now it's my turn yeah you can mm -hmm. sir uh, i asked about fate and free will in the previous lecture and i tried to get the answer of this uh, and i studied that uh, fate plays crucial role in the greek mythology mm. and um, we know sir that um, uh, when uh, oedipus rex was in corinth and he came to know that he will kill his father and marry his mother so he decided to left that place and he did so he left that place so it is not about his decisions it is about fate and we uh, know that uh, in sophocles plays fate is uh, a very important theme so i think this play is all about fate and um, oedipus rex was the victim of it am i right okay i couldn't and uh, okay, there is something Noise. Is there any background noise? Yes, I I think that my voice is reflecting, and that is very annoying. Not for me, but for the other students. I think there is some problem with your internet. Can you please rejoin the meeting? Okay. Because. Still, I am very sick. Like my throat is not working properly, but I I, I do believe that my my voice is not uh, very horrific as it was actually giving me, because this background voice that is coming uh, and resounding my voice and that is horrible. 
yes okay till then if uh, she comes again so if you have anything else to know then you can okay. uh do you people already understand i think about the about the fay about the about uh, uh the irony and uh, the other types of irony i think so that that is simply the simplest thing that we can understand yes what about others uh i'm been azza fiha farheen hader hamda hamza huma don't you have any question to ask simran sayyid hadi warda yubna are you people clear about everything okay yes we has already asked Yes. What about the others? Uh, basically, this is an irony that is used most of the time in a drama, and uh, the other type is that you can say what is dramatic irony. We already know about when the audience is more aware what is happening. uh than a character so that is a dramatic irony so because uh if we talk about our point of view as an as a as a reader so we we can say that this is what we already know about more than a uh, more than the main character or more than edipus rex so this is dramatic irony in other, in that case and uh, the situation in irony is for example that what uh, is really happening between our expectation and our happening and uh, what actually happens so this is what we can say situational irony okay so like uh, what we are expecting and after what we are expecting and something uh, other happens with that thing with that that character so this is the situational irony what we can say this most of the time yes it is the irony that is you can say in in the whole play but if we just need to know about the type of the irony so this is the dramatic irony secondly that is more in the drama because the audience they uh, already know something from uh, the foreshadowing of uh, the chorus and or of the choragos okay if they are intelligent enough so they already know about that okay and something more about this is that when you watch a movie so you are already you can say uh, sometimes uh, familiar or aware of the story happening that what will happen next next so in that case we can say that yes uh, the audience are uh, more aware what is happening uh, than of a character so you can see easily uh, that a character the the audience they know more about edipus rex they know more about everything every character around there because they already know the situation that okay this will happen and that will happen yes we can say that but not that much of the irony irony is more important so this is another type that you can say yeah because dramatic irony is all about the awareness because as a, as you people all are readers so i think that and as a, as a, i have already told you people about the story same like the chorus so in that case we can say this is a dramatic irony that is more involved in in the, in the play but if you see that as the story runs and all the other characters and the recognition of the story is also determined when the dialogues are spoken when the situations are spoken then the audience comes to know about otherwise they have only the clues and foreshadowing foreshadowing and they only they can only guess and they can only estimate about the upcoming situation so if what they expect if that does not happen actually in the same way so that is a situational irony so but if they are already uh, know about that what what the other character does not so this is dramatic irony okay so the, it is a simple thing that you can so this yes this is not the percentage that we can draw from this play that okay what is the major role of uh, the dramatic irony or the situational irony but we can take or quote the examples according to that 
So as we know that, uh, as we know that, segment fried has derived Oedipus complex from this uh, Sophocles play. So was it in the intention of uh, Sophocles to portray this thing, or or it happened miraculously? Uh, basically, Rehan, the purpose is not only to talk about the uh, Oedipus complex in this play or the Electra complex in this play, because these are the latest theories about this play. Okay, so they have nothing to do with this. Okay, that okay, this will be the Electra uh, like Oedipus complex. Okay, so this was a theory by Sigmund Freud um, in the in the in the late you can say centuries, like after one thousand and I think that. Uh, more than 15 or 16 hundreds later. So these are the latest theories. Okay, let's talk about that. Why this subject has only been taken to uh, to alarm the societies or to alarm the readers. So this is what we can take. For example, what worst things can happen with a character or with a human being? So in that case of gods and human beings relationship so that case has been basically taken so i think that this is the worst situation that can happen with a human being to have a sexual relationship with his own mother otherwise what is the other relationship that can be you can say so annoying or so disturbing that is okay if a father uh, kills his son or if a son kills his own father i think that this is as usual in the older times when the people have to take control of the throne or to take control of the or uh, to take the seat of the uh, king on the replacement so this in that case this can happen but what worst can happen with the human being so this is to ensure so this is why he has taken this subject that this worst will happen if gods want to do with the human being because they are what? They are only the puppets. They are only the flies in the hands of the gods. So they have to obey the gods, not if it, uh, they are that they must order or command the gods to do so. So in that case, we can say this is the worst case that has been taken from the life of the human being. Otherwise, if you talk about the other, all other cases, so they are not the worst cases because we cannot bear that this will happen with human beings. All the other things we can do that. Okay, okay, this, if this happens, someone kills his father or someone kills his mother or daughter, we can bear this. But we cannot bear this. So this is the worst case that has been taken by Sophocles in this play to alarm the human beings that if you will to go against the God, so this is what will happen. Okay, so in that case, we can say that this uh, case has been taken. Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, Jugesta and Louis were the one who uh, tried to uh, like turn their fate by killing their son. Uh, then why did Oedipus suffer all that fate thing? What was his fault? Okay, so we see that, that behind every story, there is another story. Okay, like you see that, uh, yes, Oedipus Rex, he is like the child of King Louis and Jugesta. In that case, we can say that, okay, if someone is, and in other case, you cannot say that okay, it is only uh, Oedipus Rex, Rex who is actually facing this uh, fate, rather than you see that Jocasta has already faced this, uh, you can say the first, the worst situation in which she has also disobeyed the god. And King Louis, he has also disobeyed the god. Okay, so in, in, in both of the cases, we can see that they both have disobeyed the god. Or on the other side, we see that Oedipus Rex is the same child. He is the same child that he, if the gods has spoken something, so that must be accomplished. So if God has spoken something and they are not doing the same, instead of they are, you can say, uh, avoiding from the fate, avoiding from uh, the happening that this will happen, they are just, just, you can say, going from one place to another and doing this and that to just avoid that fate. But you see that in that case, so this is the worst situation, they are going against the God or the will of the God. Okay, if they have, you can say, said something to obey or to abide uh, the will of the God or the prophecy of the God, so I think that they must have done that. 
in the same case and if they didn't so this will happen might be if they would have you can say abided or uh, paid more on the will of the god so the situation must not have like uh, you can say uh, worst like this but if they didn't so this was the worst condition in which edipus rex was also involved because he is also the one who actually uh, you can say abrogated the belief or the oracle so many times in the play that you have observed already because of his you can say arrogance or the proud behavior so they all are in bay involved in this including edipus and his father and mother they are all, they all are in, involved in this situation so we cannot say that okay this is edipus rex is only the one who suffers from this fate but we can say that all of them they have disobeyed the gods in some sense and this is the first this uh, you can say blasphemy or disrespect of the god is not to do what they were commanded to do that okay so this is how we can do that i have a question sir yeah you can sir how can we exemplify oedipus as a sophoclean hero how we can exemplify oedipus as a sophoclean hero uh basically we see that if you talk about sophoclean hero or on the other hand aristotelian hero so we have a definition of that tragic hero that that tragic hero like must belong to a status and that he that hero must be you can say brave enough that hero must know about or must have some intentions and some standing understandings of the subject matter and on the other hand there must be a tinge of madness in that character too for example a tragic hero must not be a perfect hero there must be some do you see that like sophocles has willingly has willingly uh, stuffed oedipus rex with both of the characteristics like he has given a tinge of madness to oedipus rex and at the same time he has given him the excessive intelligence okay so in both of the cases that he is a blessed one with both of the uh, dichotomous characteristics okay of the mind for example he is mad too he is in great anger resentment and he is worst and in the same time when he is wise enough so he is also intelligent too he is courageous enough and he is fearful at the same time so we see that this is uh, you can say an ideal situation of a hero and uh, whatever the sophocles whatever sophocles has basically drawn in the play similar if you want to know more about the sophoclean hero of tra a tragic hero you can read aristotle because every single aspect that aristotle has taken he has taken on the basis of uh, this play of uh, of 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 oedipus rex so in at each and every point you can say whatever uh, the definition of tragedy is according to aristotle so that definition of tragedy has been taken from this play so whatever aristotle is saying it means that he is he, he is the mansion of uh, uh, the his the mansion of sophocles okay so it means that he is saying that okay that uh, hero must be um, Uh, you can say belong to this class and he must be uh, you can say having both of the characteristics and if he is you can say uh, a perfect hero a perfect tragic hero if he has also some flaws and drawbacks then it means that whatever the sophoclean uh, you can say characteristics of a tragic hero is the same is of the aristotelian okay so you can if you need to know about the sophoclean hero so you can easily consult Aristotelian hero, so that is also the same as well. Is that clear, Isa? Yes, sir. Yeah. Anything else? Hello. yeah if you need to still more about know more about this so you can ask questions okay
okay i think that uh, if you still need to ask anything about this so you can ask in the group uh, or via your cr or gr so i will be responding in the group as well so best wishes for your paper and uh, good luck for your paper and i think that you already know about this process so there will there will be nothing that will be bothering you about this exam system so because we have already read this text in detail and uh, the other pbdts that we were like having some regarding this act we are also clear for that as well so if you i think that you will be doing your best you will be uh, in this case so if i will be needed everywhere so i am ready to do that i am ready to resolve every any of your query because we still have four or five days i think so in our papers so i think good luck for you people okay so take care allah hafiz